Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Um, I'd like to pitch the idea that teachers should be programmers. Uh, I have taken this basic uh, physics application and made some very, modif very mild modifications of my own. And I have created, a, um, with the help of Mr. Treyer, a, a very simple simulation of uh, particles bouncing around. Uh, the particles, the mouse itself, the, s the empty circle, has a certain gravity and so do the particles inside. The red one is the one I created. It has a, a higher mass than the other ones. And I think this could be a very good start for chemistry and physics teachers to begin to explore with their students or have their students explore uh, various phase changes in elements, for example, solid, liquid, gas. Um, oxygen becomes liquid at negative 183 C, so you could set up a um, set up a thermometer that shows what happens to the various gases, or I'm sorry, the various elements under uh, temperature and as well under pressure. I think that would be most uh, most interesting, especially you know phase change. Um, and why would you use processing? Well, because it's open source and uh, you can grab up processing from processing.org and begin modifying. I have already begun modifying. This is an open source um, application and it took me just a couple seconds to figure out that if I add the variable d and the, the uh, create the physical, the particle d and then gives the attraction to D um, as well as to uh, create the ellipse right here whoops D and it was done uh, fairly straightforward and I'm sure there are lots of chemistry and physics teachers who could do a whole lot more uh, with um, examples like this or rather with um, the Treyer physics libraries as well as with the what's available on um, What's available on <coughs> processing.org. Lots of examples there and worth your time. If you're a teacher, you should be learning how to code. Uh, there's just uh, if you're not if you're if you're not, then you're really doing your t students a grave disfavor. The world needs more science education, more math education, and the only way that's going to happen is if you create it. And there's lots of people out there who can help you do it and let's get started. Thank you for your time and happy computing.